got some exciting news. I'm making a new channel again. Yay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, introducing No Context Jack Sucks at Live. You want to see an example of the kind of content that's going to be going on this channel daily? Let's impregnate this young lady. See? How, how, how good was that? <laughs> I'm aware no one has asked for this channel. No one wants this channel. I just thought it'd be funny. I want to see how many subscribers it can get. So a couple of times every day, there will be a random short clip uploaded to this channel with absolutely no context. You want to see another example? So I'm going to dump Becky by the side of the road. <laughs> So yes, the link's at the top of the description. If you can please go ahead and subscribe now and you could be one of the first few thousand subscribers. That'd be pretty epic. Also, whatever you do, do not look at that profile picture upside down. You've been warned. But anyway, welcome back to r slash Jack Sucks at Life where I go down the Jack Sucks at Life subreddit. That link is also in the description. The top post of this week is PewDiePie doesn't care about Jack getting his play button. Yeah, so you've probably seen at this point I have already reacted to this in a main channel video. And you want to know something annoying about YouTube? This crappy five minute response to a 10 second second clip. That was a 1 of 10. The video where I actually got a 100 million play button, that was a 3 of 10. Come on, YouTube. <laughs> oh my god, it's another one of these polls where you have to do a prediction. Who will reach 500,000 subscribers first? Will it be Jack Sucks the Geography or Jack Massey Welsh? Well, the Geography channel is on 453 and the Tesla channel is on 482, but the Geography channel is growing very quick right now. I don't know why, but the videos are just doing amazing for some reason. So you know what? I think Jack Sucks the Geography is going to overtake. Oh my god, I have a thousand views unicorns. Oh, ho, ho, ho. max amount 100. Let's do this. I need to win back my unicorns because I got the one about me and 2 million subscribers wrong. Oh, and it was embarrassing. YouTubers who still have the 2006 play button. Jack. Do, 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 do. <laughs> do you know what? At the minute, I'm not trying to get this 2006 spinny award, but I reckon, let's be honest, we're probably going to end up with it at some point. Even if it's just borrowing one, which I'd be more than happy with. It'd just be fun to see one in person, you know? YouTuber causes massive uproar by capturing rare play button PewDiePie once earned. Did I call massive uproar? I don't think anyone really cared. PewDiePie didn't care at all. Capturing makes it sound like he chased it around a park with a net. <laughs> Oh my god, it's the man, the myth, the legend, Todd's Art YT. <laughs> hey guys, quick update on the award. Where have you been, Todd? You've been MIA for the past, like, five months, mate. I'm trying to find time to do it, but I will have my GCSEs this year, so I'm promising revision. I will try and get it done as soon as possible. Sorry for the wait, Jack. What do you mean? It's basically done. Just send it to me like that. I've got my own gold spray pit. That's all we need, Todd, mate. I have no idea when this random fella called Todd became the official person responsible for creating a 100k red award, but it's gonna be worth the wait when we eventually get our hands on this. It's definitely not going to be for like another year though. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, I think I forgot something. Jack's consciousness, if you forgot that it wasn't important, yeah, you're probably right. JMW.GG. <laughs> the website's actually still up. It was a website set up to sell, like, official Xbox and Microsoft and Nintendo game cards, like, working with the official companies. But it just never really got going. It was worth experimenting with the website, but I, I think it's time to call it a day, to be honest. You can't defeat me. The 100 million and the OG gold play button. I know, but he can. Guys, please, could we just enjoy the fact that I managed to get a 100 million award for a few months? and then maybe we'll look into the spinny award. But now let's just ride the high, okay? You, does that sound all right? I found an unliked Jack comment. To be honest, there's probably quite a few out there. Find it, I dare you. So six years ago, I said I love it. And it was a comment on my own video, which we know from the fact that this like gray box is around my username. Like this fella says, there will be so many unliked Jack Sucks Alive comments because Jack Sucks Alive has got like 1,700 videos, many of which only have a couple of thousand views from when I was just doing Minecraft videos in 2013 and no one was really watching them. I don't think this this would make a very interesting YouTube short, I'll be honest. Me showing vacation pics, and this is from where we went to Guy Who Plays GeoGuessr 14 hours a day. I know. Apparently this is definitely me, but I'm actually not really very good at GeoGuessr at all. I'm good at the ones where there's a flag, because I'm pretty good at my flags these days, but if there's no flag, I've got absolutely no clue. Interestingly though, for a Jackson's Geography video, I'm planning to play GeoGuessr with a guy called GeoPeter, who's like very, very good at GeoGuessr. So it'll just be like a duel where I get absolutely humiliated, and it might be quite entertaining seeing me just get absolutely wrecked. Jack, I don't touch the 100 mil play button without gloves. Also, Jack, <laughs> I wiped him afterwards, all right? PewDiePie's 100 million subscriber play button, who cares about that? When you've got a onesie once worn by Martin <laughs> You know what? I am buzzing with that. I'm probably fanboying about it. I did assume by now that I would have had like 12 emails from Richard Osman asking me to come and join him on his House of Games TV program, but uh, nothing yet, so maybe I need to like tweet him or something. Me knowing that the Red Jack's channel is growing, he will be nearing 3 million by the end of the year. That would be nice. And do you know what? I guess it could happen. We're on 2.05 right now. If we stay consistent, yeah, I suppose. That'd be nice. I mean, I don't mind, but I'm a long way from 10 million, so I'm not really aiming for anything on Jack Sucks Alive. But I would like to get a million subscribers on some other channel. 
channels this year, like maybe even Jack Sucks and stuff. But I do think Jack Sucks Geography will get to a million. Because if it keeps up at the rate it's going, <laughs> bloody hell. Out of context, Jack. Hey, up, it's me, mate, the racist fella. Where are you going? <laughs> Come back from booze. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what that's from. That deserves to be on No Context Jack Sucks at Life. Have you subscribed to No Context Jack Sucks at Life yet, by the way? There's already like four clips waiting for you. Go subscribe. Thanks. Quick reminder, this is Jack's only picture on Famous Birthdays. Yeah, out of all the pictures they could use, this is the one they've gone with. I like the big straw that's in front of my face as well. It's just a picture Becky took when me and her made some cocktails seven years ago. And for some reason, it's my face of Famous Birthdays. Jack, KSI's diamond play button. The red diamond play button. You can't even see it. It's right there in front of my traffic. For Corn Becky. I need a better place for it. Genuinely, I feel like it would be more noticeable if it was down there as a little doorstop. Yeah, do you know what? It is now officially my new doorstop. I was only kidding about it last time, but I think it's the best thing for us to do. Wait, Jack, did you change your profile photo to a slightly different shade of pink? Yes, I did. Well spoiled. I've actually gone through and changed all of my profile pictures ever so slightly. They've all got like a nice gradient behind them and I got rid of the shadow and I like increased the contrast on my face a bit. And I've updated my banners. Now, I know that the banners look quite ugly, but what I was going for was ugly in a cool way, okay? I just noticed quite a few people just seem to be really simplifying their banners and just telling people to subscribe, so I thought I'll try do the same thing. And like I said, I think it looks ugly, but in a cool way. So whatever you do, don't tell me my banner looks ugly and the text looks weird because I know my banner looks ugly and the text looks weird, but it's in a cool way. Oh, here you go. You can see all my new avatars together. Yeah, they look nice, don't they? They're just a little bit fancier looking, I think. I really didn't think many people would notice, but people had strong opinions about them. <laughs> I know you're not going to, but how much money do you think on average everything in your office would sell for? I guess it depends who the person you're selling them to is, but if you were selling them to a very rich YouTuber, for example, I reckon with the addition of the PewDiePie 100 million play button you could get six figures for everything in the office but most of that would be from the PewDiePie play button and then a bit from the KSI play button I can't imagine we'll be getting any big bucks for the Jack Sucks Eclipse silver play button you know what I mean <laughs> would you rather have 10 million dollars or 10 million subscribers on YouTube I saw so many replies to this tweet where they were basically like well if I had 10 million subscribers and I made loads of videos I would earn way more than 10 million dollars who cares man maybe that might be true we don't need more than 10 million dollars why do people have this drive to want to faff on if I'm getting 10 million dollars I'm calling it there. <laughs> I would probably make a few fun little videos here and there, but I would be off the grind at that point. I do not need more than 10 million dollars, so I'd take my check and I'd be off. <laughs> Jack should wear this pin in every Jack Sucks a Geography video. I actually already put that pin on my coat so that anytime I go outside and I'm exploring, I'm joined by my little Google Maps pin badge. <laughs> what a nerd. <laughs> Jack, you got to see this. It's the middle child gold play button. You should get it as soon as possible. Oh, so it's the black framed gold play button, which yeah, I don't have, but $3,000. I'm all right, thank you. Not on that play button collection grind right now. Remember, we're riding the high of the 100 mil play button. I want to do some other videos for a bit, you know? <laughs> I'd get it if it was cheap, though, I'm not gonna lie. Does anyone remember when Jack drew Morgz's mum? <laughs> That's like a four-year-old video at this point, but yeah, I did a drawing YouTubers video, and <laughs> there's my rendition of Mogs's mum. I'm liking the new banner and profile pictures for all of your channels, Jack. Thanks very much. Ooh, 14 comments. I'm excited to see people moaning about the text looking weird on the banners. Let's have a look. The profile pictures are good, but I think the font on the banners are difficult to read. It's ugly in a cool way. Yes, it's difficult to read, but you can still read it. So if anything, I'm pulling in more of your attention and making you more likely to do the thing that I'm telling you to do, which is subscribe. Honestly, I like the new profile pictures, but the Banners seem effortless. I can literally make those banners in like 10 seconds. Oh, yeah. I wonder how long it took Mr. Beast to make this banner. There is not always a correlation between how long something took and how effective it is. Now the new banners look awful. Shut your mouth. They're awful in a cool way. Hey, Jack, just wondering what your Espanol bookmark is. Basically, I'm making a Spanish dubbed YouTube channel. It'll probably be launching some point next month, so... I guess I'll have to reset this again. <laughs> but yes, I've made the channel. I just haven't released any videos on it yet. Do it. Hey, Jack, now you have such a huge Indian audience. You should learn all the 28 states of India. All right. Seen as I am such a sensation over in India, I will do it at some point this month, okay? Jack, it's 2022 already. Which of my subscribers are the most subscribers? Do you know what? I have no idea why people love this series so much. It's kind of the same thing every year. But if you base it on views, it's like my most consistently successful series out of everything. Probably won't be uploaded this week, but next week, okay? Ideas for videos to post on the drug channel. Have I not done maps I find cool yet? That's such an easy one. Maps I find fascinating. Already done that one, mate. Come on. Jack when Minecraft was dead, I'ma make Minecraft vids. Jack when Minecraft was alive, I'ma stop making Minecraft vids. <laughs> okay, so this is basically exactly what happened. Minecraft had its gigantic boost in 2019 and I was like, I think I'll call it there. But there is some logic about it. When Minecraft wasn't very popular from like 2015 to 2018, most of my income was coming from my Minecraft server SkyKit. So it didn't necessarily matter that my views weren't that high because providing 
I could get a few people to go on the server, that's where my revenue would come from. Whereas when Minecraft was more popular, the server was both not as successful as it was because we had to do a lot of store changes because of the Mojang Uela stuff. But also by 2019, I had been making Minecraft videos for six years and I'd done like over a thousand of them and I was just ready for something a bit different. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt, but look who's been miserable because Becky's gone to Tesco and they think they're home alone. <laughs> Coming soon to Jack Sucks of Geography, countries I find interesting. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, we've done maps I find interesting, flags I find interesting, but I genuinely wonder, ironically think that would be a really interesting series. I genuinely think that would be really good and I'll probably do it at some point. Actual thumbnail from PewDiePie's video that I was included in, and then the thumbnail that I made. <laughs> to make this thumbnail, I first had to make this thumbnail that had to look like an actual PewDiePie thumbnail, and I think I nailed it. Look, I even did the Y text thing that he's been doing occasionally. It has been four years since this legendary clip was posted. Oh my god. Keep spinning your balls, Jack. Just keep spinning. <laughs> no context, Jack Sucks Alive moderators. Write that down, write that down. In case you're having a bad day, here's Kong and Flossie. Whoa, look how brown Kong's face used to be. This is about seven years ago now, I think. Then we've got Kong and Flossie. Kong in his shark costume, very epic. That's not Flossie. That <laughs> That's just that random dog that looks a bit like Flossie that comes up when you search Jack Sucks Alive Flossie into Google Images. <laughs> That's actually Flossie though. That's good. And then, yes, that's Kong on his 13th and Flossie on her 15th birthday. Cute overall. No idea who that is. <laughs> Jack waiting for PewDiePie's reaction. I feel bad for you. PewDiePie, I don't think about you at all. Yeah. <laughs> Got a strange fella pop up in a Facebook ad. Good, that's what we like to see. I do actually upload to Facebook these days. I mean, it's the exact same stuff that came out months earlier on YouTube, but still, you want to support us, follow me on Facebook. <laughs> Minimum to has 17 play buttons. You better watch out, Jack. Ooh, let's give it a watch. If you've ever wondered how many plaques I have, keep count. OG silver Minimum. OG! OG! Beautiful. And seven games, silver plaques. The original gold plaque for Mini Mensa. The second generation gold plaque for MM7 Games. Aww, he's saying all the terms. I like it, I like it. Silver plaques for Mini Mensa Clips. More Sidemen. Sidemen. Sidemen Shorts. Sidemen Reacts. And what's good podcast, which is- I do love how the Sidemen, like, get seven play buttons for each member to keep. That is sweet, in it? Studio. And Mini Mensa Shorts, because I forgot about that one. <laughs> how? Gold play buttons for more Sidemen. Sidemen. Sidemen Shorts. Sidemen reacts, Mini Mints are clips. <laughs> Jeez. And then the finale of all Diamond of Diamond play button. 10 mil for Sidemen. Mini Mints are soon come as well, so... Hopefully, add one more on this year. Oh yes, he's very close to 10 mil on his own channel as well. Alright, that is a really epic collection. You better watch out, Jack. That's out of order, mate. Most of those play buttons were for a group channel. My Guinness World Record is safe, as I am an individual, okay? Just want that clear, thanks. <laughs> anyway, let's end off the video with a final plug for the new No Context Jack Sucks at Life channel. Go and subscribe. I'm not expecting it to get to 100k or anything, but it'd just be nice to see how many subscribers this new channel could get with just a plug from Jack Sucks at Stuff, alright? And there will be funny out-of-context clips going up every single day. There should be one that you can click here as well. Thanks, I'll see you later. <laughs>